Hello, my name's Sandy. I will be your tour guide here on the set if you don't know Jack, and I'll show you the ropes, but I'm warning you, you gotta work with me, okay? So tell me, how many people do we have playing today? Good enough. Player one, type your name in. All right, player two, we need your name next. 45 seconds. Good deal. Now, player three, can you spell your name for us? All right, first things first, pick which episode you want to play. Player one, your buzzer is the letter Q, as in Queequeg. Player two, you have the letter B, as in Buck Naked. And player three, you're gonna go by the letter P. That's P, as in Pantomime. 20 seconds. All right, ready? You're gonna get a bunch of questions. First person to hit their buzzer gets first crack at the question. And you just pick the answer you think is right by hitting the number on the keyboard. Easy as pie. Okay, have fun. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Well, 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 hello, and welcome to our All About Fluids episode. My name is Schmitty, and I'll be your little trivia spout for the day. We're going to get started by passing out the hardware. Listen up. Say the question comes up and your neighbor gets that Mount Rushmore look on their face like they don't have a clue as to what's going on. That's the perfect time to buzz in, hit the S key, and screw them. Then they got to answer. Got it? Okay, you ready to go? Let's do it. Player two, take your pick. Whoa. Coming at you. Do you know where that coffee cup has been? You're looking at $3,000 on this one. Forward March. If your automatic drip coffee maker starts producing coffee flavored with the drip, what will you most likely be drinking to get your day started? Influenza espresso, leprosy latte, decaffeinated dysentery, or gonorrhea cappuccino? Player two. Player two, who are you gonna stick it to? Player three, you gotta take that, give me an answer. You're wrong and you smell like ass. Player one, player two, who wants it? Let me show you what I would have picked. The drip is a more intimate name for gonorrhea. And that coffee is painful. But the worst part is telling everyone you've ever had coffee with before. What do you want to do, player three? Today's specialties include jolly, fruit-flavored, and out for justice. I got $2,000, says you don't know this one. Mmm. Kool-Aid, the drink of the gods brought to man. See if you can figure out this analogy. Kool-Aid man is to suburban homes as Samson is to the temple at Gaza, Lot is to Sodom and Gomorrah, Jesus is to the manger in Bethlehem, or the four horsemen are to the apocalypse. Player one, do it! Just like Mr. Kool-Aid destroys those suburban homes through brute strength, Samson lay waste to the temple at Gaza. Yeah, you know, it's funny how when a biblical guy tears down a building, everybody dies. But when a giant talking juice picture does it, it's fun for the whole family. Player one, what's up? Oh. 
the category. They sniff because of the snossages I keep there. I'm going to make this one a thousand bucks. Okay, free your mind. Given the method dogs use to cool down instead of sweating, what would be the best new motto for a canine deodorant? Never let them see a pee. Never let them see a pant. Never let them see a wag. Or never let them see a bark. <laughs> Player three, have at it. Since dogs really can't sweat, they have to pant to cool their body down. Although I'm not sure that a species of animals that go around sniffing each other's butts really care how they smell. It's all you, Player 3. What do you want? Hey, not bad. You chose a when did happen. All right, I'm going to show you an event like this. Man first walks on the moon. Then I'm going to list off seven other events, like this one. All you got to do for each one is tell me whether it happened before or after man first walked on the moon, or if it never happened at all. Buzz in when the correct answer is lit, you'll get $1,000. But be careful, if you buzz in when the incorrect answer is lit, you lose $1,000 each time you're wrong. Hope you got all that. Let's do it. The name of this when did happen is What the Mother Buckshot. Okay, everybody knows that Beverly Hillbillies song, right? Well, you better, because I need you to take a look at this line from that song. Up through the ground came a bubbling crude. Now, does this line occur before the bubbling crude line, after it, or does it never appear in the song at all? Okay, let's take a look at the damage. Player three, that's not horrible. Let's see what that does to the score situation. Player one, still ahead. Okay, now, where were we? Player three, why don't you pick one? Let's have a big warm welcome for Just Add Water. It makes its own booze. How does $2,000 sound? Okay, get ready to type in the answer and fill in the blank when you know it. Suppose you suspect someone has been secretly filling your alcohol bottles with gravy. If there is gravy in your daiquiris, mojitos, and zombies, what kind of liquor did the gravy replace? Player two, what do you got? Type in your answer and then hit return. Can you believe it? Someone has been replacing your rum with gravy. So then, what's in the gravy boat? Never you mind, boy. You get your own damn gravy. This gravy's mine. How dry I am. Player two, grab a category. The category is, you're soaking in it. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Heads up, here it comes. If I pee into the Colorado River while I'm standing in the Rocky Mountains, who will get to swim in my urine first? The fish in the Pacific Ocean, the fish in the Gulf of California, the fish in the Gulf of Mexico, or the fish in the Atlantic Ocean? It's all you, Player 3. Player 3, who would you like to screw? Player two, you like getting screwed? Give me an answer. I'm sorry, you'll have to be a little less specific. <laughs> player one, player three, you want it? I could have given you some cash if you picked this one. Just as I empty my mighty waters into the Colorado River, the Colorado empties into the Gulf of California. And what the hell, with a million tons of illegally dumped chemicals and sewage in there, fish won't even taste my pee. Player three, time to make a choice. All right. 
right, give it up for Sticky Where the Sun Don't Shine. You get this one, you pocket 2000 bucks. Ah, technology. I'll tell you, I do enjoy a tasty cup of coffee every morning. Compliments of my high-tech coffee machine. What is that thing? Yeah, Mr. Coffee. You know, you just add water and coffee grinds and voila. So, tell me. What would you need to add to a Mr. Toffee machine? Cinnamon and honey, caramel and butter, butter and sugar, or peanuts and caramel? Player three, do it! See ya! Player one, player two, it's open! Hey, if you got a minute, take a look at this. Tasty Little Toffee is made by simply cooking sugar with butter and letting it cool. And I'll tell you, thank God for technology, huh? Because I don't know what I'd do without a machine that mixes two ingredients together for me. <laughs> How did people in the 1800s live? Talk to me, Player 3. This one's called Fridge Fight! 4K coming your way for a right answer. Flex those fingers, here it comes. Considering how the word prego is used in Italian, what might your belligerent tub of parquet say to your prego spaghetti sauce? Bite me. Watch your mouth, basil brain. I'm welcome. Who said thanks, moron? Ready? I was born ready, jerk. Or hurry, hurry this tomato breath. Player two, grab it. My Italian friends tell me they say prego for your welcome. Of course, when your tub of margarine starts talking to your spaghetti sauce, you know what happens. Little cops of marinara running around. Your call, player two. Yeah, chess strut fits dime whore. It's time for a bit for fish best fun. Let's see if you can make some sense out of this gibberish category. Who brought the gorp? You move fast, you can get 10,000 bucks on this gibberish question. All right, listen up. Every second and a half, some of that cash is going to disappear. So if you want to win big, you got to move quick. All right, tell me what well-known phrase this rhymes with. I got her, dump the rucksack. And don't worry about that funky punctuation. First clue, it describes something easy. Easy like so. Let's see it, player two. Start typing and then hit return. which makes ducks a real pain in the neck for waiters. Another water? What happened to the last water I brought you? <laughs> Fine, quackhead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am sorry! Player two, what do you want? We're calling this one, Wanna See My Creek? You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. One question coming right up. Say a creek in Battle Creek, Michigan honors the city's most famous product because it's the perfect fluid to go with Battle Creek's claim to fame with what would the creek be filled? Motor oil, chocolate syrup, milk, or tonic? <laughs> Player one! Battle Creek, Michigan is the home and birthplace of the Kellogg Cereal Company. And the good thing is the fish in the creek stay crispy. Let's have a category, Player One. La la la, tra la la here's a question for you. May I introduce a bar where everybody knows your financial status. You get it right, you get 2K. Ah, cheers. Makes me feel all warm inside just thinking about it. Hey, do you remember how Norm worked days as an accountant? Oh man, drunk accountants, yes! Suppose Norm examined Cheers liquid assets. What would he find? A nice cold beer, the cash in the register, the building the bar is in, or Woody and Carla. It's all you, Player 3. Liquid assets are defined as either cash or those things that can be most quickly turned into cash. Like selling Cliff into slavery, that kind of thing. How about it, Player 3 category? Oh, 
Let's take a look at a car hit him and all that was left was kibbles and bits. I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. Okay, see if you can fill in the missing link in this automotive sequence. Dog runs out in street, foot pushes brake pedal, blank, hydraulic brake hits wheel, car stops. Is it fluid pushes brake, fluid freezes brake, fluid ignites brake, or fluid inflates brake? Player three, have at it. Hydraulic systems work through pressure. The pedal forces the liquid through the tubes to press the brakes against the wheels. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Are you okay, little doggy? Little doggy, where are you going? <laughs> Come back here with my car, you damn dog! Player three, your category. This category is known as a whole lot of Pavlovin. How does $4,000 grab you? Okay, so this guy Pavlov got his dogs to slobber every time they heard a bell, right? Genius. But tell me this. Suppose Pavlov's dogs got loose because you wouldn't hear a bell there at which of the following locations should you be safe from dog slobber? Liberty Bell Pavilion, St. Peter's, Houses of Parliament, or Notre Dame? <laughs> Player three, do it! You can't ring the Liberty Bell because of that big crack. No bell ringing, no dog slobber. <laughs> Unfortunately, and not many people know about this, Pavlov also trained his dogs to pee whenever they see out-of-work actors dressed like Ben Franklin. Player three, pick a category. Open wide and get ready for who drinks water. I need artificial coloring. I got $2,000 says you don't know this one. Eyes forward, we're going. Suppose you buy a new thirst quenching sports drink called super cool liquid. Which of the following will you most likely be sucking down for your super cool refreshment? Chunks of comet, wisps of carbon monoxide, shards of glass or pieces of flesh. Gee, according to the label, I'm supposed to drink this stuff in my car, with the motor on, while it's in the garage. Super cool. Player one, player three, grab it! Glass is a super cooled liquid, baby. And, you know, I just drank about eight glasses of super cool liquid in a row, and I've got to use the bathroom right now, and I'll level with you. I'm terrified. You are about to embark upon the attack. Hit your buzzer when you see two words that match. 2,000 bucks if you're right, 2,000 off if you're wrong. It's not so hard, just remember this. Remember the clue. It's got to be a match that fits this clue. It's not just a beverage, it's a way of life. Or in your case, a waste of life. I'm kidding, have fun. Player three, there was no stopping you. Let's see what you did to the final scores. That's a win for player three. Player three, that was a very touching victory. Now get your hands off the other players. And remember... You don't know Jack! Oil.
Gad Zooks, you're all on the high scoreboard. Wow. Well, revel in it while you can, my friends, because I'd be real surprised to see it happen again. We can try, though. If you want to play some more, just give me the word. Hey, if you think this episode is a keeper, hit F and save it on your favorites list. I hear they're even more delicious the next day. Come on, Dunkle, we need this one. Dunkle, you suck! You bowl like my mother! Herb Dunkel, the man, some say, who bowled like your mother. Cheap liposuction? That's so cheap. How do you make liposuction so cheap? Volume! Your ugly fat gets eaten away. Better breasts and thighs at Dr. Benway's Fried Chicken and Liposuction Shack. Where the fat goes, nobody knows. Hi there. I'm Peter Fully from the American Council on Urine. If you have an opportunity to pee, grab that opportunity and pee into the appropriate receptacle of your choice. I just did, and I feel great. The American Council on Urine. This week on First Times. So, what was your first time like? Oh, you know, it was all right. A little awkward. I mean, whose first time isn't, right? How old were you? Oh, gosh. I don't even remember. Somewhere around seven or eight. What? That's pretty young. Yeah, I, I mean, most of my friends did around the same time, so... I, I, I feel stupid. I was 17. 17? You mean it wasn't mandatory in your elementary school? What? <laughs> Wait a second. Tune in next time for First Times. I thought about holding the door open for her, but when I looked down at my bracelet, I thought, what would Satan do? Satan. So I slammed the door in her face <gasps> and bit the heads off all the lab rats. <laughs> At the American Produce Corporation, we respect how our forefathers farmed the earth by hand. And how the earth will be farmed in the future using advanced microchip technology. That's why we keep it simple. A single large supercomputer handles all farm duties. The American Produce Corporation. Family owned and operated until 1982. Then bought out by a billion dollar corporation. Artificial, Artificial intelligence will feed the world fruits and vegetables for the future. He had it all. Loving family, successful business, good health. The wealthiest man of his time living a charmed life until that life became a living hell. He lost his business to thieves. He lost his family in a storm. And he lost his health to a rare skin disease. It was as if God and the devil had decided to gamble with his life. But he refused to give up. He blocked out all the naysayers and kept his faith in God. And for this, he was rewarded. His patience led to a business twice as big as before, a family twice as loving, and his health. It's the story you haven't read. Patient plaything. Job. Tomorrow on B. True Biblical Story. Sounds like someone just lost a radio. Does everyone ignore your car alarm? Well, there's no ignoring the screaming Mimi. Your car is always in danger, so the screaming Mimi keeps screaming all the time. All eyes will be on your car, guaranteed. Hey, would you shut that thing up? See what I mean? Also available, the screaming Mimi smoke detector and the screaming Mimi baby monitor.